Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hooner's Shed. And we're still playing with the electrics today. Um, I managed to pick up the CDI and the rectifier regulator and all the handset controls, so I brought those over. I've put them on the frame, I've put all the indicators on. I have noticed a possible error in the wiring order that I've made. Yeah, I have got a lot of cable, and I think I've missed out a few. It was such a long list, I was just going, yeah, 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 uh, I'll just buy that. And I think I've missed out a few. There's a couple of extras that I want. It's not imperative, I don't think. I, I could get by without them, but I want to stick where possible with the right cable for the right job. I don't want it too thin, I don't want it too thick. And there's a couple of cables that now I better understand this wiring diagram, and I've lined it up with the bike. There's a couple of cables I think, I should have bought that in that thickness. So there's a couple of links that I might need still to buy, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so everything's back on the bike, apart from the battery, I do need a new one of those. Um, and I picked up some connectors for the fuse box. No fuses yet, oddly enough, but then I haven't got a battery yet either, so there's no power going through it, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll crack on with that then. Right, so this is where the TZR stands at the moment. Obviously I've got all the, the switches back on, all the cables, indicators on both sides, cables for those obviously. Rectify regulator, <coughs> CDI coil, coil. Um, taken the old flash unit off because that's not going on there. The uh, ignition control unit, obviously the rear lights and the indicators. I've put this is just an upturned, this is the lid of the um, air box just upturned it does fit in there quite nicely so I know I can I know I'm going to use that space so I'm using that as a temporary sort of everything's got to fit in there type of thing so I've got somewhere to put the things I don't know what you would call it just a temporary make do bit so I can put the few mount the fuse box into the work out the length of the cables I need whatever um, just as a guide really so the plan is going to be because I've also found the um, warning lights and everything else that normally sit up here. I'll stick those in there. So, I thought what I do, since I've got the cable and a bit of free time, I've got loads of, I've got enough cable to do this, was just wire up the indicators. It's not going to be a permanent wire. I'm not going to solder the ends or anything else like that. I shall probably just wind them together and then wrap a bit of tape around them. It's just, it's a simple circuit. So it's just to sort of try and get me head around it. The way, because it doesn't, it doesn't always work the way you, that you think that it should. I found from what I've read so far, <laughs> understood so far, and I've probably understood very little. So, but the indicator circuit is a fairly good, it's a fairly simple circuit. And I've got all the parts to do it. Alright, I don't have a battery, but then I just wire a battery in and see if it works. Providing that the switch works. So, that's the plan for today. Right, so, what I've done is I've wired in the rear indicators. It's only just like that. I haven't actually cut any of the cable down. I've left it all as rims, because this is just a test. This is just one of test to make sure that I've understood the wiring diagram correctly. So it's all wired up. I follow the diagram, and it comes back. I didn't have any brown and white, unfortunately, so we've got pink and purple, for want of a better colour, to the flasher unit, mm -hmm. into the fuse box, and then out to the power source. And then I've run a negative cable down the middle as well, which is then wired in, just there, like I said, just twisted, and down to here, where I should put some terminals on, and then connect it to a battery and test it, obviously, once I've put a fuse in there. But, if I've understood it, then that should flash, providing there's not an issue with this switch. Then it should all work. So, like I said, I haven't actually got the battery to test it. So, it was a bit of a bummer, but I didn't have time to grab it this morning when I was going to grab all the other bits and pieces. So, we'll leave that as it is for the moment and uh, pick a battery up right so that's it for another episode of Hoonah's Shed like I said I didn't get a battery unfortunately didn't have time this morning when I was running around picking up all the rest of the parts 
So hopefully I should get that rectified soon. And I'll power that up, get some fuses as well, power that up and see if I've got it right. I've got a fire extinguisher down there in case I haven't, but I shall probably do it outside anyway. <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, like I said, not really, it's not, this isn't how it's going to be. This was just a test wire, just to see if I can get my head around how I'm understanding the, the wiring diagram, because I'm not familiar with reading those. So the indicator circuit looked like a good circuit to practice on. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't look fantastic, but like I said, it's just a mock-up. And I don't want to cut any of the cables down um, to make them all fit this mock-up, because when I come to actually need a length of cable, you can bet yourself that when I pull the cable off that I've cut, it's going to be about that much, or that much too short. And I'm going to have to find some way of extending it, which I want to avoid. So I've left all the lengths of cable as well. It should be fine. I think it's only indicators. So I'll get some fuses, get a battery, and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's it for today. Um, I will be carrying on more with the electrics and rewire, putting in the rest of the loom. I'll order some more of the cable. I'm not going to muck about with that. I'm going to put the order in and order the few bits and pieces that I think I'm missing. Just to make, just want to make sure, you know, makes me, uh, as Dale said, a little bit of OCD, possibly. But I don't want to go through all this work and you know, find out I've got to strip it out because I put the wrong cable in. I'd rather put a cable in that I know is going to do the job. Might sound a bit, ah, just whack it. But, you know, there you go. So, that's episode three of uh, Project Teaser Dark Electrics. Um, look forward to seeing you in the next one, hopefully with some flashing lights. So, right, safe, take care, and see you on the next episode of Unishet.